Randy Knapp. Randy, thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate thanks it. Thanks for having me. Yeah, you bet. Daytona 500 coming up. You got to be excited. Two You're weeks, gonna be there. I'll be there. Yeah. Forty <laughs> sixth year uh, for me to to go to the Daytona 500. Forty six years. Yes. Started, started when as a kid. Two. Really? Yeah, yeah really you started when you yeah. were two. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Just like me, about the same age. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Believe it or not. Well, t give us a little bit of a breakdown on, on what's happening at Camp Margaritaville. You know, so many people think, well, it's just um, these Class A big RVs that come in. You've got cabins, you have entertainment, you have so much going on. I you mean, it's, it's like, it's a resort is what it is. That's what I tell people. It's a resort for, uh, you know, people with RVs as well as people who want to stay in your cabins. Right. It really is. Since I was here last, we've finished the second phase, so we're now 401 sites and the the breakdown is 75 or cabins and the remainder are either back in or pull through or premium suite rv sites and they will accommodate those rv sites will accommodate any rig that's out on the road um, from the pull behind to the fifth wheels to the to the big rigs yes. so we welcome all of them and um the cabins, I think I need to elaborate a little bit on those. Um, people are just starting to learn about our cabins. They have a full bedroom. Uh, most all of them are full kitchen. I think we've got six that are efficiency that don't have a range, but the rest are full kitchen. Uh, pull out couch in the living room. Some of them have bunk beds. We have wheelchair accessible. So we can accommodate anybody. We're, we're pet friendly. We have certain cabins that are, are set aside for those folks that travel with pets and I think we find 70% of our guests travel with pets so we've got internal 70% 70% I yes. did not know that yes wow. we've got two Barkeritaville dog parks and Bar then free Barkeritaville oh Bar Barkeritaville dog spa <laughs> I'm deaf in this um, so year I can't hear out of this one okay yeah. <laughs> um, no it's a nice place to to bathe your dog groom your dog you're going to travel with a pet, travel with a clean pet. And then we, we border your par, uh, dog park, which is unbelievable. Yeah. Since the new road was built through and connecting the sports park almost to our entrance, it's just fantastic for our guests. So a um, lot of amenities we've, we've built. Again, since I was here last, we put a second pool in, a pool pavilion, the chill bar, and we're now putting a full-blown barbecue restaurant in that building. So we've got three eateries when this one gets opened. Um, and then, as you mentioned, Jack, the event center. The event oh, center, we just hosted our first cannot event. Cannot beat that event center. It's a little over 14,000 square feet. Um, we, we tried to bring the outdoors inside, and I think it, it turned out beautifully. Mm -hmm. Acoustically, we, we intend to, to handle events, both inside the RV resort and then for local events such as the sports park, but we can do weddings. We're working with a uh, class of the 80s with City of Auburndale, uh, not City of Auburndale, but th those who went to Auburndale mm -hmm. school, they're doing a reunion in the fall and, and many other types of groups. We've got meeting rooms. And so, you're, and, and so the, the, the event center though, it sort of harkens back to the history of being the blueberry farm, right? Yes, so, yes. so that was the neat thing for me is it's that you saved that little bit of history there yes, yes. as well. So. Yes. We did. We kept the loading docks in place, replaced the refrigerated overhead doors with glass doors, and um, that helped bring the outside in. We put a 12 by 24 TV screen in and with, t with full-blown beautiful TV. In fact, I just heard we're going to do a, a big Super Bowl party for our guests, which will be wonderful. Um, no, it's, it's very... Um, very unusual compared to the event centers um, that we have here in the county. It's it's a neat space, and we hope to do a lot of work with you all since we're so close to the sports park. Well, speaking of those staycations that I mentioned earlier, I jumped on top of you. Yep. I mean, excuse me. No worries. But I found out like two weeks ago that my nephew and his three terrorist kids yeah. and, <laughs> and his wife went over to Margaritaville just because they didn't want to go too far, but they wanted to have a fun place to go. Mm -hmm. And all three of the kids, you know, of course, they live across the lake from me, and so they're all wakeboarders and skiers and stuff. So they did the cable park thing. They ran around like terrorists, and they yep. just had a blast. 
yeah. well behaved though. And and you know I've stayed in the in the cabins and and you walk around and you look at those RVs, which uh, calling them RVs is a, is I mean they're homes on on wheels. Yes. And and all the displays that they have out for the holidays and uh, and everyone's just sort of having a roaming party getting to know each other. That's right. Uh, it was a fun time. It's a blast. That's probably one of the most rewarding things for our family and team, knowing <coughs> that, that we're creating memories mm -hmm. for these families that come. And Mark mentioned it earlier. Um, it's surprising that most of our, our um, guest visitation comes from a 50 mile radius. Okay. And we've had guests that have stayed as many as 42 times in one year different stays so it's incredible for these um, for these families and we accommodate from all ages from you know the toddlers all mm -hmm. the way to the seniors and everything in between it, it's really cool for those families and friends some may have RVs some may not they can still all have fun together by accommodating those who don't have the RV in a cabin and those who do have the RV in close proximity. The cabins have the picnic tables and the charcoal grills and the outdoor space. You park right at your unit and it's very similar to the to the RV. And the, the weekends you were talking about, the themed oh, events, yeah. that's growing by leaps and bounds. We do a Hall Halloween themed weekend every weekend in, in uh, October. Um, July 4th is big, Memorial mm -hmm. Day of course is big, and Easter, so, but, but we're finding more and more happening now during the weekdays with the themed events. And the events building is going to help cater to that. We're planning the six acres next door that lies between us and uh, Lake Myrtle Sports Park and ECP Cable to bring more fun um, with more uh, activity <coughs> on that site. So it's exciting. And, and it's an active group that you have. And oh. We were talking earlier where, where you see them on their bikes, they're yes. on the trail, they're, they're going through either Lake Myrtle or, or on that, that bike trail, they're going downtown. They're, they're, it's an active, active group. These Very aren't just, active group. you know, they aren't just sitting in their RV. That's right. We have a full-time activities director that, <laughs> that plans well in advance. We get our calendars out to our guests. A lot of guests make their travel arrangements based on that calendar. So it's very important to get that out. But then we also have those guests who, as Mark mentioned, they're looking at the tourism opportunities that you've got locally. Mm -hmm. And we're so convenient from Disney and Legoland and Busch Gardens and Universal. You can get to anywhere pretty quickly and back. So it, it just fits the bill for a lot of those uh, families and groups that come in. And yeah. we're, we're excited with the partnership that we've got with you all. Um, we're, we're just so excited about being able to deliver this experience. And Russ Matt around the corner, you'll get a lot of business from that. And yes. you can see the folks already pulling in their RVs yes. for the different events. So, uh, so it's great to have you right there. Yes, thank you. We're, we're fortunate to be there. Randy, one thing that, <clears throat> before we wrap up here that I wanted to ask you about, sports teams, you know, generally like to travel together. Are you seeing this is a viable alternative for a lot of these sports teams we coming are. in? We are. Where, where I think we set ourselves apart from most other hospitality venues, uh, especially for those participants in the Lake Myrtle Sports Park, we're right there adjacent too. And now that the county and city have worked together to build the connecting spine road that, that goes through the Lake Myrtle Sports Park and we've made it <coughs> golf cart friendly, for bicycling, golf karting, um, scooters, whatever it is mm -hmm. they are walking, it's convenient. And <coughs> especially for those teams coming in that have uh, participation in bracketed tournaments where they may be playing a morning game and an afternoon game, they don't have to get out on I-4 and battle that potential parking lot. They can come and enjoy and relax at, at Margaritaville and then go back to the game. Or if part of the family wants to stay and enjoy the pools, or whatever activities are going on while the while the participant is yep. at the game, they can do that. So, a lot of options. Well, great opportunity, great sport. Uh, right next door, you know, it just doesn't get much better than that. It's arguably the most unique uh, in the state of Florida when you have all these amenities in one area. It's just unbelievable. Randy, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having us. Hey everyone, if you enjoyed this interview, and want to watch more Sports Central, click the video below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.